So we're almost 11 months, no alcohol. It's incredible. I never thought I'd be at this point in time. I speak low like this because I get nervous that people might hear me talking to myself. Something that I'm working on is uh, my voice, sharing my voice, um, and being confident in my voice. And so part of sharing or working on releasing that fear and the guilt and shame around my voice is, is practicing speaking out loud and sharing it on Instagram. So... This is a part of me practicing using my voice and stepping into vulnerability. <laughs> I'm like looking up, I'm like, is anyone gonna walk in? <laughs> um, I realize it's part of my responsibility to use my voice. I mean, I know it is. It's part of my purpose here is to use my voice share my voice and I feel like a lot of women struggle with using their voice if you look back in time at the amounts of oppression women have gone through um, I mean it makes sense that we hold a lot of guilt and shame around our voice I mean, we were literally burned for stepping into our power in the past. So we hold on to this trauma within us from thousands and thousands of years of oppression. And so part of my responsibility here is even though that I fear sometimes to do it anyway. So, in what areas of your life do you feel fear, but you know it's for the greatest good for you and the world? In what ways are you holding yourself back because your mind is telling you that you're not enough time that we all start stepping into our authentic voice and sharing our gifts with the world and I'll talk about it over and over and over again because it's so important it really is so that you can live individually a happy and full life but also so that you can give back to the world in, a, in the way that you are meant to here so that you can truly fulfill your purpose here. And a part of that is using your gifts and your voice. And whatever else you may be holding back from. So really asking yourself this question. In what ways am I holding back? In what ways am I self-sabotaging? I used to do this so often, self-sabotage. No more, baby. No more. No more! A 
pivotal moment for me was giving up drugs and alcohol. Because it allowed me to really get honest with myself. First, I had to get honest with myself that I had to give up drugs and alcohol. And that was a scary truth, to look at myself in the mirror and be like, fuck. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to give it an a hundredth try. <laughs> and really being gentle with myself that it's okay if you fuck up, but let's just do this together. It's okay if you fuck up because we can always start again. The important thing is that you're going to try. You're going to start today. And you're going to reach out for support. And so that was a big thing when, uh, on the beginning of my journey was that I was like, I have no, no promises to anyone or myself that I'm going to do this for any amount of time. I'm going to do this today. And then tomorrow, maybe I'll do it for tomorrow. And the next day, maybe I'll do it for the next day. But I'm, there's no length of time. I'm not, I'm not doing any and like open-ended promises. That was really important for me. Just really living in the moment, in the present moment. I could do anything for 30 seconds. I could do anything for a minute. And so, once I got honest, my, honest with myself about, about my addictions, then the honesty just started peeling out of me, because now I wasn't covering up any of my fears with alcohol and drugs anymore. I wasn't, I couldn't, because I wasn't taking anything. So I couldn't numb myself. I couldn't distract myself the ways that I was used to. I could distract myself in other ways, but I caught myself this time because I wasn't using. So when I went to go distract myself with men, I could be like, oh, Lexi, this is the same cycle that you've done 20 times over. Are you sure you want to start that cycle again? <sighs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> and this is what this is what Lexi and Lexi did. We, we supported each other. You have to be your own support system at times. Your own mother and your own child and and be gentle with yourself in the process and check in with yourself and notice when you're stepping into the same cycles that you're that led to a certain part of your life that you know what, now I have the awareness to not step into that same cycle because I don't want to end up back there again. I don't know if this is making any sense, but, but this makes sense to me. And so, so really building awareness and gently being honest with yourself. When you notice yourself spiraling downward or spiraling into a similar cycle that you're used to, you can now catch yourself because you've built awareness. And so now, before you get too tangled up in the same cycle, you can take a step back and witness yourself and, and choose a different path for yourself. And so getting honest with myself was uh, quite scary. It also led me to so much beauty. Just wow. So much beauty and so much love has unfolded because I chose to love myself. I chose to look at the, the scary, dark places within myself and love them and nurture them rather than continually running away from them. And that was one of the biggest lessons. So when something comes up, rather than running and hiding, look at them. Nurture yourself. 
hold yourself like you would a baby. Like you would a child. It's okay. You're safe. You're not alone. I got you. And a part of all this work was really being alone. It was one of my biggest fears growing up. Was being alone. And that went into my adult life. And so a priority of mine for a few months was to just really allow myself to be alone. Allow myself to be uncomfortable. Allow myself to be still with my mind. a bit of my story. I think that's all I'll share for now. But yeah, healing can be scary. It's not all light and love. But it is so rewarding. It, it truly opens you up to something much, much greater than you could have ever imagined. connects you with parts of yourself that you didn't know existed. It connects you to a great spirit that lies within you. And that is worth all the work, that connection with spirit. So keep on moving forward. Keep on believing in yourself. Keep on peeling back the layers of your heart. Keep on taking the risks. Keep on loving deeply. much love many many blessings and if uh, addiction is something that you struggle with please feel free to reach out you're not alone and that goes with anything at all I'm here for you <laughs>